What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Chuckle 972 here, and welcome to Final Fantasy VI. Well, if you're playing, since we're playing on the Super Nintendo, we're playing um, Final Fantasy III, quote unquote. As you know, uh, Final Fantasy VI was localized in the U.S. under the name Final Fantasy III as the third Final Fantasy game that has been released here in North America. And this classic. I can't tell you how many times I've played through this game and have not just been, you know, wowed by it though. This is still one of my favorite games growing up. I ended up actually discovering Final Fantasy VI before Final Fantasy IV whenever I was a kid. I was actually playing Chrono Trigger a lot more, which by the way is on this channel as well. So just wanted to say welcome and let's go on a journey. You'll have to excuse my voice, I just came back from a concert uh, just the previous night. And I can tell you right now that my voice is a little off. Okay, at the summit. What do we got? There's the town. Hard to believe an Esper has been found here, well, found intact there. A thousand years ago is after the War of the Magi. Think it's still alive? Hmm. Probably, judging by the urgency of the orders. Well, our orders. And this woman, this sorcerer. Why is she here? I heard you fry 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers in under three minutes. Shit, Booker to be world champion. <laughs> Not to wear the slave crown on her head robs her of all conscious thought. With approach from the east, move out! And there she goes, mindlessly taking orders. Then you have this great opening scene. Hmm. Producer Hironobu Sakaguchi. So many good things that this man's done. Director Yoshinori Kitase Hiroyuki Ido. Ken Narita Kiyoshi Yoshi. The main programmers. Tetsuya Takahashi Kazuko Shibuya. Hideo Minaba Tetsuya Nomura. Yes. This man is uh, currently involved in uh, directing the Final Fantasy VII remake. Yoshitaka Amano. This was the uh, the post dream team of uh, Chrono Trigger when you think about it. Yoshihiko Mikawa Kite Ito. I've been wanting to do this game, this uh, playthrough, forever. I've been busy for so long, and unfortunately, uh, you know. It's it's been taking me away, you know, from being able to do uh, playthroughs lately. But I can tell you right now, though, it, has, it hasn't been for not. I can tell you that right now. I've actually been prepping for this for a little while, though. Matter of fact, I think I prepped for this a lot more than I did for Chrono Trigger. Even so, I don't know what it is about, you know, the 90s, though, but Square just dominated the Super Nintendo, the Super Famicom as well. And uh, speaking of the Super Famicom, I am currently using right now my Super Famicom controller for this playthrough. Now I bought a controller extender but unfortunately I don't have a secondary monitor that I can plug this into so I can actually play while as I record. So I'm stuck uh, just recording it on my big screen and on my PC. Remake Planner Translator Ted Woosley THE Ted Woosley that man has translated a lot of uh, Square uh, games. Alrighty, we are in Narsh. Let's put her on point. No sense taking any risks. Ford. Okay. She's definitely unknown. Okay, let's see what we got. Optimum equipment's good. And you can't equip them. So let's move forward, shall we? Uh, it sounds like Detroit if you ask me. Cold and not safe? <laughs> there we go. 
take them out real quick. All you need is just your Magitek. That'll take care of him. Easy stuff. Vix and Wedge. Now I'll tell you this right now. Vix is not the name of Vix. It's actually Biggs. It's named after Biggs and Wedge from uh, Star Fox. Uh, from excuse me, Star Wars. You'll have to forgive me. I was actually kind of warming up a little bit, and I was playing Star Fox a little too. But yes, Biggs and Wedge from Star Wars. You know what? Yeah, take care of these wolves or these lobos. Now I gotta tell you this. I have Final Fantasy VI Advance as well. However, I gotta tell you, there are some things that I really don't like about Final Fantasy VI um, Advance. More so, I don't think it's uh, the retranslations. The dialogue I'm okay with, but I grew up on just, you know, the Final Fantasy III's translations. So, call me a little old-fashioned. Matter of fact, call me 30 years old, though. Because I just turned 30 uh, just um, on the 23rd. Oh, a pincer attack. They're coming from both sides. Alrighty. Here we go. Take care of him in the back. And we'll have the unknown soldier over here. Cast fire. I'll cast fire! Goody goody two shoes, goody goody two shoes. You know, that attire right there is weird for a guard to wear. Ooh, and everybody gains a level. Here we go. <clears throat> As we slowly walk up. Now, I do also have Final Fantasy VI on the PS1, along with the Final Fantasy Anthology Collection. One thing I do like about it is the fact that you can actually hold uh, the, eight, the circle button down. And you can actually run. The only thing I was not a fan of was the load times. And the uh, battle transitions were not as clean. Well, they were smooth, but at the same time, they were just not as uh, quick as this, though. Because, as you can see on the Super Nintendo version, the Super Famicom version, it blurs twice and then goes right into it. On the uh, PS1, it just goes... Shh, shh, shh. The only bad uh, experience I ever had playing Final Fantasy VI, though, was uh, my old PS1 that I had. It was having a disc read error problems all the time, and it used to frustrate the crap out of me. Here we go. Into the caves we go. Take care of that. Let's move forward into these caves. Oh, and a save point. An eerie glow surrounds you. Want info about save points? Nah, I'm pretty pretty well uh, experienced. Been playing these for a while. But you know what? Never hurts to heal. And let's save. I completely forgot about all this. Let's see. Can't go in here. Let's keep moving forward. Hmm. What do we got? Oh, I had to this stand back. Boom. Oh yeah. Uh, of course you won't. Guard it with your life. Welk, get them. Now, originally, whenever I was going to do this playthrough, I was going to do the uh, PC uh, version. 
However, I am not a very big fan of the sprites. Not only that, call me a total knob job whenever I say this, but I do not know, I really don't know how to do a PC capture. Yeah, I'm a knob, total noob. Now, what you want to do with the Welk, don't attack the shell, and don't use lightning. It eats lightning. Sounds like my stomach growling when he does that. So, we're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait a little. Sorry about that, I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. There we go. And now we play the waiting game. That sounds like a black metal scream. You know what? Let's use a tech missile. Let's see what's all in the arsenal. I'm gonna say this too. For those who have not played this Final Fantasy, one thing you'll love is the soundtrack. This is definitely Uematsu's best work on the Super Nintendo. Well, I'll say this right now. Oh, hang on. Better be ready to heal. This soundtrack, along with Chrono Trigger. Well, in general, Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI on the Super Famicom, Super Nintendo have got to be like a complete tie to me. Because I can't choose a favorite. I really can't. Alrighty. We're almost done here. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dad! One potion. And we did this without items, too. Moving on. Alrighty. And there is the Esper. This is the Frozen Esper. Ooh. How very eerie. Trudich. Tritach. Hey, what's the matter? Do you know something we don't? frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. Where's that light coming from? Whoa! Uh-oh. Hey! What? Where are you? What's happening? It would seem that this girl and this Esper have a... A connection of some sort. What's that? Such a very somber tune. Where am I? Oh, <laughs> I only just removed the crown. Such a beautiful song, too. Easy, this is a slave crown. The others had a complete control over you while you were wearing it. Wearing it. 
Don't worry, it'll all come back to you in time, that is. She can't remember who she is. A mysterious young woman, controlled by the Empire and born with the gift of magic. Her name is Tara Branford. Impressive. Never heard of anyone recovering this fast. Open up! Give us back the girl in the Empire's Magitek armor! Shit. They're like the Nazis. Look, I have to get you out of here. I don't have time to explain. Over here! Make your way out through the mines. I'll keep these brutes occupied. Oh, sneaking out. Here we go. Shh. It's reconnaissance. Uh-oh. As she walks right on out. Actually, hold on. There is something that we do need to get. Hang on. There are a couple of hidden items here, I believe. Oh! Can't go back. Ah, fuck it. Here we go. One thing I like about Narsh's music, it sounds like it comes from a, a, what is it, a jazz club. Speaking of, a guy by the name of Bustin is, <clears throat> excuse me, I sounded really Texan whenever I said that, but like as I was saying, a guy by the name of Bustin is, did a really, really, really good OC remix cover of the, um, the what is it, the Minds of Narsh. Here we go. Save it up. And we're going to keep going. But as I was saying, um, a composer by the name of uh, Bustin is did a really, really, really good uh, cover of uh, The Minds of Narsh. Very jazz club. Very uh, 1940, 1950s film noir style. I think that's the proper term for it. Let's keep going. Get a couple of chests here. And a sleeping bag. Yeah, if you ever get a chance to, look up Bustin' Is. Matter of fact, I think I'll leave a link in the description for it. Let's see, what's going on here? Got her! Uh-oh. Oh, now she wants to run. Ooh. It's a long drop. And I think she may have hurt her head again. This poor woman. <laughs> My sweet little magic user. <laughs> With this slave crown, I practically own you. <laughs> hmm, flashbacks, huh? Definitely a flashback for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good. Burn everything. Burn everything up. Psycho. Hmm. Oh, what's this? We saw this in the beginning. Minus the people. Emperor Gestal, we stand on the brink of a major breakthrough. In these days to come, we will witness a total revival of magic. It is our destiny 
and ours alone to take this mystic force and claim what is rightfully ours. With our newfound power, nothing can stand in our way. Hurrah! Long live Emperor Jastal! Yeah, what do you say? Yeah, right too! That poor girl, man. All that from a fall. Hmm. Took you long enough. How goes the robbing and the plundering trade? <gasps> <laughs> Treasure hunter and trail worn traveler. Searching the world over the relics. Searching the world over for relics of the path. Ladies and gentlemen, Lock Cole. I prefer the term treasure hunting. <laughs> Semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference. Anyway, <clears throat> were you the one who sent for me? Yeah, there's a girl I'd like you to meet. Huh. This better not have to do anything with that Magitek Ride and Imperial Witch. Imperial troops are pursuing her even as we speak. This town is no match for the Empire. Our independence can only be assured if we join forces with the Returners, an underground resistance movement. That girl was responsible for her actions. We must get her to understand our dilemma. All right, I think we better get help her. Make your way to South Figaro and talk to the king. Woo! Hell of a jump. Well, when you're a treasure hunter, I mean, thief or whatever you want to call yourself. I'm pretty sure that comes in handy. Yeah, we got you. Oh, wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Keep up. Huh? Would you look at this? Moogles. Are you saying you want to help me? <laughs> Use us to save Terra from the guards. Need more information? Absolutely. You'll fight using three different groups. Press the Y button to switch between them. Your job is to defeat the commander of the guards before his men reach Terra. Save her or else. Well, let's get in place, shall we? Now this is a dynamic that actually gets introduced. I believe this is the first Final Fantasy that got, that got this uh, multiple party uh, dynamic introduced too. Here we go. Like a game of chess. Let's fight. A Vol Mammoth and a Lobo. Well, you can steal. And he's Solitonic too. And apparently this guy wants to use Blizzard on us. Ah, you punk. Wow, these Moogles are... Holy shit, these Moogles are armed. One with a claw, one with a... Uh, with a spear? And there we go. Another battle. Kushu, Kurin, Kuru, and Kamog. These names have to be very, very, very Japanese. <laughs> Let's see... What do they got? Ooh, boomerang, a knife, a spear. I don't know what Kushu has. Whatever he had, it probably would have worked anyway. Here. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's steal. What does this Lobo have? Oh, and I couldn't steal. 
Something is wrong, kids. Whoa. Yeah, we're getting dangerously low. Better end it quick. Oh, and a flail. Yeah, these moogles are... Yeah, they're, they're ready for anything. I can tell you that right now. Oh, and Mog. That's his name. Cuckoo. Okay, Mog uses a spear. Kapa well, Cuckoo uses a flail. I don't know about Katana Kupan. And this one mastered a new dance. Ooh. Very nifty. Here, let's see what else they got. Mog is obviously the strongest out of the group. Oh, that's right. Here. Kutan, what do you have? Oh, and he has a sword. <laughs> I like you. Awesomeness. Hang on, let's see what we got over here. We'll use this party. Let's take out the Volmam at first. There we go. Boomerang it out. Oh, nice. Good work, Googles. Now, the big question is, which team do I want to use? Let's start moving them forward, shall we? Because this boss right here can be a big pain in the ass. You know what? We use uh, the party with Mog. How about that? Let's heal everybody up a little bit. You know what? I'll take a risk. Here we go. Lobo and the Marshal. Two Lobos and a Marshal. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. Alrighty. Take out the Marshals next. Okay, they just focus all your attacks on the Marshal. Oh, damn. Okay. Let's focus. Focus! Come on. Shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Charge. You're still alive. There you go. And he's down. 24 experience points and a potion. 410 GP. Gold pieces. Thanks, Moogles. We are in your debt. I like how he picks her up and she just disappears. Just sits there and just runs. Sats her down. And what's this? I think the switch will... Here we go. Woo! Pretty nifty. Not even gonna lie, pretty nifty. Ugh, you back with us now? <laughs> Save your thanks for the Moogles. She can't remember anything. You have amnesia? Man said my memory would come back. Hey, give it time. You're safe with me, and I'll give you my word. I won't leave you until your memory returns. Oh, such a gentleman. Oh, by the way, this secret entrance may might be useful in some day. Don't forget about it. <laughs> yeah. What a pose. I don't think this town is going to be very safe for us. So I think we're going to go and end this first episode right here with the introduction of the world map. Thank you all for joining me. I will see you on the very next episode of Final Fantasy VI. Or if you want to keep calling it Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo, you can call it that too. <laughs> Much love. I love every, which one, every one of y'all. It's been a while since I've done commentary. You have to forgive me. Much love. 
and peace.